Throwback. <laughs> Welcome back to the Jenna Jillian Podcast. <laughs> that was intense. Oh, man. Good pen take. I'm, like, weirdly scared. Why are you scared? Okay, so we, we, this week we are doing something a little ridiculous. It was sort of requested. It was, it was it not was, sort of requested. It was requested. It was requested. Straight up requested by you guys. By you guys, and also incited by you guys. <laughs> Before we get there, though. Your fault. You did this. episode of the Jenna Jillian Podcast brought to you by me on these, the wonderful underwear that you can get delivered to your oh, door. Oh, hell yeah. New designs every month. Micro modal fabric, three times softer than cotton. A dope company. Right now, you get your first pair with twenty percent off and free shipping by going to meundies.com slash Jenna Julian. This is one of my favorite designs. This looks like the rose in Beauty and the Beast in the beginning when it's like stained glass. Yeah, it does. Right. You could be wearing that on your butt, and you you guys gotta try it. It's really soft. Hey, also you. brought to you by Wink. Wink is a wine delivery service uh, where you get wine delivered to your door, to your front door, without having to go anywhere. And they select wines custom based on your palate. So you take a palate profile quiz, and they get your sense of flavor and what you like. And then all of a sudden, wines at your front door, and you have to do no work. So go to try Wink. That's T R Y W I N C dot com slash Anna Julian for twenty bucks off your first order and complimentary shipping. Shipping. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Wink. Thank you, MeUndies. Ooh. Okay. What are we doing today? Well, someone on Twitter started retweeting. Who was it? What's it? I don't remember their account name. One of you dicks. I think Laura might have been the first one. Somebody started retweeting Julian's like old tweets. Not only retweeting, like replying. <laughs> I replied to a couple. They were pretty funny. But so, to be fair, we're looking... What are the years that we're looking at? 2009? Yeah. 2009, 2010, I think. Right. Or, I don't know. That's that's the, that's the date that I have plugged in. Oh. We're, oh, I'm looking 2009 and 2010. Yeah. Like, basically 2009 and 2010. Right. So, but I was 23. How old are you? In 2010? Or 2009. 17. Yeah, so like Julian's are really funny. Oh my god, mine are. I so mean, mine are crazy. super embarrassing. But you were like a teenager. I was tweeting nonsense. Yeah, and people are um, com- uh, replying, commenting, and like retweeting all my old tweets, trying to make sense of a lot of them. <laughs> Which it's hard because some of them they really don't make any sense if you don't if you're not me like you know I know what I was trying to say at the time but so I guess that I feel super fortunate that I did not have Twitter when I was seventeen yeah I kind of I kind of wish I did you know what I mean like I look like, I'm so glad it wasn't on YouTube I couldn't imagine what the shit I fucking would have made anyway so Jen is gonna read my old tweets and I'm gonna read hers and we're gonna kind of just like ask for clarification right if that makes sense tweets on trial yeah or <laughs> here we go BB. What? Oh, my God. All right. So are you starting at the bottom or the top? I don't know. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to start. All right. Why don't you go? Why don't you go first? Well, I mean, I can't even do some of yours justice because the spelling. You have to is spell just... nothing. Tell, tell us how. They're... <laughs> mm, OK. This is July 22nd, 2010. I know. K-N-O. It sounds like I'm exaggerating. Dot, dot. But. Today, I'm the most sore I've, IV, ever been, dot, dot. Every muscle is sore individually, dot, dot. Signs of hashtag putting in work. I hate myself. I already hate this. Oh. I was I was on Twitter You're in sore. high school tweeting what the shit. What are you sore from? I was on, on Twitter in high school. You don't have to like explain every one. I'm just no, reading. I just, I'm just saying something. I was on Twitter in high school tweeting the shit that like YouTubers tweet now. Like all the hard work that they're doing and like look how look how <laughs> grinding I am. All that. All it is is a Phillies blunt with two T's. Oh my god. Okay, so can I explain that one? Yeah, go ahead. What is that? It, there's actually really no story, but my, my buddy Brandon... And my buddy Andrew, we would like be the three musketeers. We would hang out all the time. And I can't remember what we were doing, but we were in like a, a convenience store getting like some fucking sodas or some shit, just being idiots. And uh, behind the counter, we weren't 18, I don't think. All Behind the counter, there was something called Philly's Blunt. And we, for some reason, thought it was so funny. So we just started dying laughing when we were at the counter. And then we kept saying all night, all it is is a Philly's Blunt. And, and even if you were there, it like really wasn't that funny. But that's 
Two other people besides me knew what that meant until right now. You can read any of mine. Right. I don't want to just embarrass you <clears throat> now. Stop. Okay, check out my new video. How to trick people into thinking you're good looking. Wait, let me see Seriously. that. Seriously. Let me see that. Link. <laughs> Oh my god. July, <laughs> July 9th, 9th, 2010. It's literally seven years ago to the date. Wait, what? Oh, that's crazy. Wait, yeah. did that video come out today? Seven years ago? Maybe. No way. Oh, this tweet is from seven years ago. I don't remember. I love how the links don't even work anymore. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, that's wild. I'm going to go some before the video making. You got one? Yeah, I got... When you thinking about breakfast, I'm heating up my dinner, dot, dot. Now I'm a menace, God as my witness. Okay, so just disclaimer here. Maybe like 46% of my tweets in high school were J. Cole quotes. Yeah, I was going to say, is that a J. Cole That's quote? That's a J. Cole quote. Okay. Getting my exercise TV on. Smiley face emoji. Let me see that. What is my exercise TV? I think that was so it like when I lived in Boston, we had Comcast. So they had this like on demand was like their big service or whatever. And yeah. you could go on there and uh, just pick from workout programs. And I would work out in my living room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just getting my exercise. Like P90X TV. sort of thing. Sort of. But like yeah. stupid stuff. They don't give away P90X for free. They give you away stupid stuff for free. Monday is my business day. <laughs> It's just, it's, not how you, it's Monday is my business day. Yours, though. Yeah, I would, like, log on to literally every website that there is and try and, like, freelance and book go-go dancing gigs <clears throat> and all kinds of shit. That's dope. And then the rest of the week, I just went out there and worked for almost no money all the time. All right. If you're content with anything, maybe it's time to get out of the game. <laughs> God, so <laughs> passive aggressive. Um, this one just says, ha 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 ha, and then a Vimeo link. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Great workout, now nap time. That's Julian. Cruising with three ends around with just a W, the homies, dot dot, on that supper fun level. Tweet photo link oh, can't click on it. Supper fun, the fuck. Yeah. Oh my God. I oh, need this to. One. Okay, yeah, I need two. The number C inception <clears throat> again. Who wants to see it? W me. <laughs> w me. Peep my new shots on F book. Facebook, but you wrote F book, and then smiley face, and then link doesn't work. And then it says, oh, no, that's that's the link. Yeah, what were those, like, some, modeling shots? Yeah, pictures. Should we have peeped them? Yeah, peep them, Julie. Getting ready for worky. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's cute. All yours are harmless and cute. Mine are stupid. <clears throat> All right, what else you got? Inception with CP and the homies. CP. We get it. You saw Inception, Julian. CP? Yeah. What's CP? CP. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what CP meant. CB. I know what CB is. No, it's CP. It might have been the precursor to CB. Nap, chalet, Inceptions. <clears throat> all these have two dots in between them. It's not even a full ellipsis. It's not even three dots. It's two dots. I still do two Nap, dots. Chalet, Inception, out, W, the homies. That sounds like a solid lineup to me. All right, let me explain the lineup. That's your third tweet about Inception. <laughs> Inception really got to me, guys. Um, chalet means go to sports chalet. No! Yes. Like the sporting goods store? Yeah, I loved going to sports chalet. So you took a nap, you yeah. went to sports chalet, and then you saw Inception. With the homies. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> and now I'm going to make your silver pants blue. Oh, that's from the 40-year-old virgin. There we go. Yeah. He's painting the little action figures. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> All I know, with no W, is I got a double casket. 
motherfucker with four A's. Okay, five so A's. That's, let me explain. Let me, five A's. Let me go back one tweet and then explain that. Mm-hmm. So CB stood, stood for casket buddies. And that sounds really morbid and fucked up. But me and my buddy Andrew call each other casket, casket buddies because... We were like homies for life. We would die together and be casket buddies. Mm -hmm. And so that was the double casket tweet. Mm -hmm. You're judging me so hard. I thought we weren't going to judge each other. No, I'm not judging you. It was just saying because the tweet before that is bros be for hoes always and forever. Forever. (laughs) F-O-R-E-B-V-E-R. Spelling like wasn't my hot suit on Twitter. (laughs) July 16th. Chalet with it. <laughs> w i d i t. You went to Sports Chalet again? Yeah, I love Sports Chalet. <laughs> what are you getting in Sports Like chalet? Under Armour and stuff. <laughs> like clothes? Like workout clothes. <clears throat> what else you got? Hi, friends. I met Smart Tan again. Imagine that. Yeah, I worked all the time. Yeah. I wish the links worked because that would make uh, these a lot better. I know, but they don't. <clears throat> Breakfast at Snug with Mont dot dot. Body is done. Two hard days behind me. <laughs> dot dot. Rest in Tom. Dot dot. Then two more ahead. Rest in tomorrow. Yeah, I spoke in code basically. What is Breakfast at Snug with Mont? Andrew Montanari was my good oh buddy. My God. I called him Monty. And then it's I spelled snug. it Mug Snug Harbor and Santa Monica was a breakfast spot. That doesn't exist if, anymore. I don't know if it's still there. Have you been there? It doesn't it was, exist anymore, I don't think. Oh, it might have been shut down. It was right next to Whole Foods on Wilshire. Can't deal W this radio nonsense anymore, dot, dot. Got to get back to that iPod in the whip. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Got to get back to that iPod in the whip. I feel like we should just read mine. <laughs> Like, yours aren't near anywhere near as embarrassing as mine. You probably aren't. Yeah, no, because I was 23, 22. Yeah, it's like doesn't... It's like not quite the same level of what the fuck. Just got a gig for Saturday, sick. Like, you're just working. Yeah. <laughs> That's your life, and I'm just like tweeting nonsense. Headed to AT&T store, now I think y'all know why. Hashtag iPhone 4. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I tweet like that? We were watching some of Julian's old vlogs last night, and, like, it's... I told you it's fucking amazing and cool when you go back and watch your own vlogs, like, even when you started. And, like, you know, a month goes by, and it's cool to watch, like, you know, a month-old vlog just to see what you were doing or whatever. And we were watching a video where Julian literally used Apple Pay for the first time and was so excited about it. I was, like, mind-blown by it. He was like, we're living in the future, y'all! But, like, those vlogs are only... and, And every vlog... You make after that is only going to be like more and more fun to watch as time goes by. You know what I mean? Like imagine ten years from now when I'm talking about Apple Pay, yeah. like it's the bet next best thing, and be more we're paying shit with a finger really and cool. stuff. Um, well, let's just switch over to reading my tweets. I think. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> you responded to a, a tweet that Forrest Griffin tweeted, and you just wrote "lol." <laughs> All right, what else you got? Headed to at Gold's Gym. Bout to N-O explode this time. (laughs) Oh, my God. That pre-workout game, Julian. (laughs) Free Slurpees round two with a link that doesn't work. And round three. Boy, that is a lot of Slurpees. You like Slurpees? (laughs) Julian? I guess. Oh, Parks and Rec... Okay, so this this is this is literally my best Halloween costume ever, and it was me dressed as Chris Traeger from Parks and Rec. Yeah, and, I've seen that. And I got retweeted by Parks and Rec, and that was like the coolest thing in the world. Wow, haha, humor <clears throat> night already. What the fuck, <laughs> Julian? It's a humor night already. I like when you say humor. Objective sauced with the main homies. Dot dot dot. Objective complete. What the fuck does that mean? Getting drunk, I think. Getting sauced. What's Panda with the bro? Panda Express. (laughs) (laughs) Why can't, why don't you like refer to anything as what it is? I I just always spoke in code. I was trying to be cool. That is so fetch. Julian, that is so fetch. Social network, dot, dot, go mom. What does that mean? My mom got a 
job painting for set design in the movie Social Network. Oh. Doesn't make any sense. Um, Back in SM and it feels bomb. <laughs> feels bomb. <laughs> Santa Monica? Uh, yeah. Why don't you just type Santa Monica? <laughs> Man, these late night meals at Wolfgang are too clutch. What is Wolfgang? Wolfgang Puck. That's a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, Wolfgang. Puck. That's a person. These late night meals at Wolfgang are too clutch. Why did I speak like that? Cirque du Soleil is so legit. Show tonight was by far the best. They need to have shows in L.A. It'll change lives. <laughs> this one's good. Julian saw Cirque du Soleil one time, and it's. It'll change, It'll change it lives. Liam Neeson is a boss. Unknown is an awesome movie. James Bond esque. Oh my god, Julian, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, he said he's going there because his mom thought it would make him happy. Uh yeah, BC Bosch and Wade are holding his hand! Exclamation point. That was a basketball tweet. Yeah, but what the fuck? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Delete my account. Seize with no E on the end. S-E-I-Z. Seize. The moment. Try to freeze it and own it. Squeeze it and hold it. Because we consider these mom- these minutes golden. At Eminem. I tagged him? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm like, I'm actually like horrified right now. I'm cringing. Like I'm physically, I'm getting shivery. <laughs> Cirque tonight. Good to see <clears throat> K.A. at the MGM Grand. Super pumped. We get it. You went to Cirque du Soleil. And you saw Inception. Mm. Have you seen Inception? Julian, what'd you do this weekend? Did you see Inception? Um, no, I haven't seen it. Nothing to do but get my bronze on with two ends on. Bronze on. <sighs> okay, this one's good. What? Got into Chapman. Dot, dot. That's so sick. S-I-C-C. And they want me to play for them. Just adding on to another thought <laughs> to my busy head right now. Hectic. Oh my god, Julian. What is wrong with my little tiny high school brain? Nike outlet. Ooh, a follow ellipses this time. Dot, dot, dot. Just, no T, starting to get fitted. Dot, dot. Hashtag thug life. Hmm. <laughs> Thug life, Julian. Thug life. Nike outlet. Thug life. And that wasn't even like... Said no one. That, was, that wasn't that was even like um, self-aware thug life. That was like, I thought I was living the thug life at the Nike outlet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else you got? They ain't give it all they got, so they flop. So, hey, watch. Oh, God, it's another J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> You liked you liked Inception. You liked J Cole. Yep, 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 yep. I feel oh another one. I feel like Inception is a must see. Like as soon as <laughs> it is out, I who's Inception? down? Why? Did yes, I love Inception Julian. So much. Julian, have you seen Inception? Do you want to see Inception? Oh my God, it's a good movie. You should see it. I think you might like it. Julian, <laughs> Julian, Julian, <clears throat> Julian, Julian. All right, I get Julian. it. I get it. I get it. I tweet about Inception. Haha, <laughs> cops walking through the house and shit. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Okay, let me explain that. So I had an 18th birthday party at my house. This is actually the night like I really met Mark for the first time. Uh, but I had an 18th birthday party with way too many people. Like I invited like probably 15, 20 friends and they all brought friends, which got out of hand. Yeah. Them. And it was at my mom's house. I was a senior in high school. I was just living the fucking dream. And... These cops came because there was a noise complaint. So they started walking through the house. Meanwhile, like there was beer like everywhere. And like actually one of my friend's dads was carrying beer back to us oh, while the cops were there. But they were cool. And like, they, you know, they, they didn't really get us in trouble. But that's what that tweet was. <clears throat> uh, what does honestly F E F F F a turtle mean? I need, I need to see it. What, honestly F a turtle. Oh, like fuck a turtle. Like, yeah, but why? In what context? Probably because I something something was done to me. I didn't like what a turtle did to me, or something. Living on the edge, just being in this turtled out car. Pray for my safety. Turtled out car. That's what it says. Turtled out car. I don't think you're reading that right. Read it, right there. What is a turtled out car? Turtled out car. <laughs> 
I have no clue what I could have meant. Oh man. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to find one. Hold on. What are you trying to find a specific? Oh, one? this this one. This one had a lot of you guys confused. I saw this one. Night. Okay, another nice little shot in the SM mirror. SM mirror is one word, so it looks like smirror. So you guys were like, "Did you have a stroke?" Like, what was this tweet? The SM mirror was our local newspaper, the Santa Monica Mirror, and. Mm. I was terrible at sentences in English. So I wrote another nice instead of a nice, nice, another nice little shot. Like I meant to say another. Basically, my picture was in the newspaper. That's what that was for baseball. Oh, cute. Yeah. Going to swoop the cousin from the train station, dot, dot. So I'm recovering physically from this morning, dot, dot. So, so, or dot, dot. Only because I hashtag put in work. But it looks like Putin work. <laughs> Putin work. Oh, Julian. Rise and grind, Julian. Okay, ready for this Rise one? and grind. Julian, you got to put in that word. Okay, right, stop. Can't touch us. <laughs> Can't touch us. Where you at, Duran? Where you at? That's a dub. Let's go. Hell yeah. So senior year, um, so junior year of high school, we had this horrible coach. His name was, I think, Rob Duran. Like the worst coach in the world. Everyone hated him. And... Uh, he, he basically blew, uh, like a winning season. We had Tyler Skaggs who was, uh, drafted right out of high school pitching for us. Like we had the dream team our junior year and we, he fucked everything up. So we lost and it like, it ended on a really sour note. So everyone hated that coach. And then he left and started coaching for another school, uh, that we like one of our competition schools down the road. Um, and so our senior year, we played them. And we played against our old coach, and then we beat them. And so that was me tweeting, like, in your face. Ooh. Yeah, but what's, uh, ah, almost out of here. Stack that cheese. <laughs> Stack that cheese. It's probably me working some, like, dumb minimum wage job stacking $8 an hour's worth of cheese. Stack that cheese. Stack that cheese. Oh, what? my God. What? what? Oh, this what? is so weird. Much love for Lil Tunchi. Like I'm tweeting about Lil Wayne. Yeah. Gonna miss you in your spirit for a while. Well, that's probably when we went to jail. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Game at Cleveland tomorrow. You're gonna be on my mind for this one, Wheezy. Oh my God, Julian. <laughs> you did not. Julian. Oh. <sighs> Oh, you just... Don't touch me. It feels so weird right now. You just slapped no way to J. Cole, didn't you? <laughs> Dumbass umpires on fucking Mars just got thrown out. Humor. Don't even know what they do in <laughs> with two ends. That's when I got kicked out of the game. I really like your use of the word humor. That's so humor. That's what... My friends still say that. Humor. It's like a SoCal thing. Humor. Like, that shit was humor, dude. That shit was fucking humor, dude. Yeah, this podcast is not humor. Is cringe. <laughs> I can't remember what I did to get booted from the game. You got booted? Yeah, I got ejected. That's what that tweet was. Oh. I got ejected by the umpire. Definitely met LeBron James in my dream last night. Hell yeah, Julian. It's funny how dreams can tell you so much about what's going through your head and what's important in your life. I want you to get excited. Mm. You never see it coming. You just get it, get to see it go. What? Is, what? what is that? I have no clue. No, no clue. No clue. Never see. I mean, it's probably a lyric. Never see it coming. Just get to see. Yeah, that's definitely a lyric. <laughs> What else you got up? I responded to one that just said, LOL, girls are dumb. (laughs) D-U-M. Man, high school girls were dumb. And then I responded to another one that was like, my future plans include, and then it's colon, winning this game tomorrow. And I was like, is that all? (laughs) Is that all? Is that all your plans? Boy, (laughs) if you don't. (laughs) Okay. um, I really like girls are dumb. Who didn't tweet some shit like that in high school slash college when... Wait, what? Why did my what? My Twitter just switched to Jenna Julian podcast and fucking lost everything I was searching. I hate I don't that. No, no. Okay. Done with that sketch, sketch ass chalet, but deaf is successful morning and night. 
Why are you always at Sports Chalet? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hold on, I need to get back to my spot. One sec. God damn it. All right. Um, Why? Why are you always at Sports Chalet? They had dope shit. What are you talking about? Get off my... I had. I was living the thug life. I had swag. Honestly, they say middle child sucks, and I'm really starting to see the dynamic and why it does, because it does. Oh, it's a pretty insightful tweet. Yeah, like a human Kermit. Being the middle child is weird, huh? What's that? Don't do that. Um, chiropractor, dot, dot. Getting ready. <laughs> For what? <laughs> For what? Getting ready to play the next day, probably. I don't Getting know. Getting ready to, like, have someone make no, your no, back no, feel no. better? No, the chiropractor, and then... Like, that's me getting ready. I was getting ready with the chiropractor. Aw, this is that girl that you had a crush on. You tweeted at her so much. Aw, Jillian. Mm, she will remain nameless. She, she will remain, remain nameless. nameless. Good morning. Hopefully it's nice out. Back to head to the beach <laughs> for a workout. <laughs> that's what you would tweet at her. Okay, I just read this one. That what? made me laugh. Just got down with Palmdale. Fucked those fools up. We got in a full brawl with Palmdale High School. Oh my god. Oh, like a bench clearing brawl. Oh my <laughs> Just god. Fucked those fools up. Who who you calling fools, boy? Fools? Yeah, that's how I that's how I talked, babe. Fools. Fools, babe. Babe, Fuck if you can't fools. get down with 18-year-old me, like retroactively, we can't. 18-year-old fucking... Julian is my aesthetic. Yeah. Fucked those fools up. Fucked with F U C C D. Fucked those fools up. Oh, fuck we, like, why were we getting in brawls in a in a high school I baseball don't game? Know. I don't know. I'm a crazy moo fucka or just bored. I you spelled it M O O F U C A A A. I tweeted at Ocho Cinco so much. That's thirsty, Julian. I was just a fan of his. Why couldn't I be a fan? Why you got to judge me? You literally tweeted at this girl that you liked like every single day. Okay, so. I think this might be my first tweet ever. Hit and Z's. So sore from those stairs. Time to recharge. And then a link. Yep, that was my first tweet. Uh, oh my god. That's Kermit crying out there. Hey Brent, it's Julian Solomita. Hope everything's well. I'm headed up to Cuesta and slow for a workout with the coach right now. Okay, do you want to ex- want me to explain that? Yeah. Brent Maine was a professional catcher. For the Royals, I think the Dodgers, and my dad, as like I think one of my birthday gifts when I was in high school, bought me private lessons, catching lessons with him. And it was one of the fucking coolest things ever because like catching was my favorite thing ever. Mm-hmm. Like defense, I, I, I like, like defense better than offense. Like I loved catching. And so to train with one of like a really prominent, anyway, he was from San Luis Obispo. So. It's Julian Solomita. That's okay. cool. Yep. You also have at Drake. It's a cold world, so homie, bundle up. He needed to know. I was just trying to help him. That's a J. Cole lyric, right? I should have said, it's a cold world, homie. Bundle up with me undies. Because right now you guys oh can bundle up with me Oh my God, undies. Julianne! You can bundle up with me undies. Just I'm like, like, I'm ready to leave. Just like J- I'm ready to walk Drake out. Drake probably wanted me to say that to him back then. I'm but ready to leave. You know, if I included that in the tweet, he would have bought me undies back then. And you know what? I don't even know if MeUndies was around back then, but you still should have bought them back then. Right now, guys, you can get your MeUndies the softest, most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear. The dopest designs in the absolute, like... I hate you. Coolest colors. Like, every... Think about this, guys. Your underwear is going to look fresh every month. You can get new designs every month, delivered right to your door, or you can just buy one time under undies, like right, right from your freaking computer, which is amazing, okay? Uh, they have guest designers each month, so the designs are not just the same. They have new aesthetics all the time, which is uh, very cool. And I literally wear nothing else. I'm wearing them right now. Can you see them? I'm done listening to you. I'm, I'm wearing MeUndies right now. Uh, right now, guys, you can get 20% off your first pair and free shipping when you go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. micro fabric, guys, three times softer than cotton. Think about that. Think about how cotton, how soft cotton is, and then think three times more soft it's than that. It's pretty fucking soft. You don't need to go buy boring underwear anymore at the store. You just go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian, and you get your bright, beautiful, wonderful underwear and put it on your butt. It's going to feel amazing, and you won't regret it. Thank you, MeUndies. Also, uh, Wink, guys. 
if you have a hard time picking out which wine to drink and you don't know how to get the flavors that you like and you get confused by, you know, choosing what bottles look cool or, you know, whatever. Wink takes all the guesswork out of it, okay? Wink helps you out right there. You go to trywink.com. That's T-R-Y-W-I-N-C. And you take a quick palate profile quiz, which is basically uh, they ask you a couple questions uh, about your flavor taste, uh, what you like, what you don't like, certain things that you enjoy in certain foods. And once you take that really quick quiz, they now save that to your profile and use it to select certain wines that would fit your palate. Uh, it's a very cool process. And then all, before you know it, all the wine is literally on your front door, uh, your doorstep, and you just drink it. It's that simple. You don't have to go to the store. And uh, they're going to comp the shipping for you guys. And they give you 20 bucks off your first order when you go to TryWink. That's T-R-Y-W-I-N-C dot com slash Jenna Julian. You can join for free, skip any month, and cancel any time. Plus, Wink will have a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so you never pay for a bottle that you don't like. Check it out. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, hashtag ads. What do you got for me, babe? <clears throat> I was trying to change the date. Look up older tweets. School is too pointless. No, that's my oldest tweet. What is? From what year? 2010 is my oldest tweet. Oh. <sighs> okay. But Twitter, like, Twitter wasn't big at all. Yeah. I, I joined because a couple of my friends were on it. Yeah. And, like, that was a way that we could, like, tweet, like, like cool people and, like, cool spelling of shit and, like, not have our parents see it, basically. Mm-hmm. Damn. Face recognition, thumbprint security. I feel like a secret agent. I'm going to be up all night learning this comp. So I got a new laptop for college and it had a thumb, thumbprint scanner or something. It was a garbage computer. What? It was this little PC laptop that broke down on me so fast. Shouldn't have had that Red Bull. Aha! <laughs> oh, Julian. Oh, man. I don't know. I like sort of lost my spot. So. Just um, wish things could be just... easy sometimes. Just for a quick sec. I don't want to have to worry about all the BS. Whatever. Keep grinding, game today. Oh, my God. I want to slap my old self. Keep grinding, Julian. Julian. Keep grinding. Nothing feels as bomb as I do right now. Working out is my outlet. Fuck all the BS. Stay grinding. What is wrong with you? Who taught you to say grinding? I like I like foresaw the future. I was like, I want to be like 2017 vloggers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, picked up the tux. And ready for some pre promen tonight. I tweeted pre promen. <laughs> <laughs> did you, okay, when you were in high school, did you guys have like prom puzzles? Because that wasn't the thing when nope. I was in high school. Well, I mean, I, I didn't. None of my friends did. Maybe people did it. I wasn't. It really, wasn't a thing. No. I voted for this photo. Check it out. No, there's no link. Doesn't even work. Yeah, all the links are fucked. You really couldn't find anything on my Twitter? They're all just at well, work? Yeah, I mean, I can search more. I just feel like yours is, like, so much more mature and less embarrassing. Yours is pretty funny. I like laughing at your Twitter. I'm kidding. Tennis with Grandpa. Something. He, he still beats me. Right? Something I've loved to do since I was a little kid. He still beats me, yeah. What the hell, dude? What the fucking hell? Wow, what a round. Lesnar hung on by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Brock Lesnar. Hopping on New York, New York roller coaster. Is that in Vegas? Or? Yeah, I was in Vegas. I've never been on that. I've been like twice. Is it fun? It's just a roller coaster. I don't know. Hmm. Do you like roller coasters? Yeah. It's fun. It's pretty extreme. You go upside down once, I think. Whoa. And then you go inside the little New Talk York. Talk about thing. extreme. Wow. Free Slurpees round two. Oh, yeah. You already read those. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like out of them now. Yeah. 
Should I, like, change the dates? That's what I just tried to do, and you said that 2010 was your oldest tweet. Yeah, but what if I change it to, like, 2011, and then it goes... Why don't you tell me that secret account that you had before <clears throat> this one so I can look at those tweets? Um... Because I had one, too. Oh, I'll, I'll try to find it. I'm looking at it up right now. See. I'm not give, I'm not putting it out on the internet. Right. I know, but you can just... I found it. Oh, there's no tweets on it. Mm. Wait, hold on. There might be a different one. One sec. Boo. I like I kept promoing my my kick. Like this is my kick. Message me. What was I? I don't know. Oh my god! Look at my. Oh my god! What? I only had three tweets, and it said, "Haha, too bad. Stop following this Twitter." <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Um. Yeah. So my old Twitter. Um. When I search it, it nothing comes up because I think I, I basically changed my at. So then all those, like those, would just be under mine. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Is that it? I mean, I don't know. Pretty much. I mean, there. Those are your tweets, babe. Well, I apologize for all my old tweets. Why? Uh, They're you're like really sweet and innocent. Like it's. Babe, I was just grinding. Okay. Oh my god! I don't know if you could have handled my hustle back I, then. If if I met you and you were using the word grinding, like we never would have started dating. There's not a chance. Rise and no, grind, no, baby, no. Hashtag rise, hashtag and hashtag grind. No, you can't handle how hard I grind. Yes, I can, but and no, you you do not grind. I grind. You just live your life. <laughs> I grind. No. I work hard. No. I work really hard. The definition of grind is to like take a, a, a little thing and, and smash it together with something else. That's what I do to That's life. That's not what you do to life. <laughs> That's what I do no. to life. Life can't handle my grinding. No. I smash it. Yes, it can. Life is in big pieces and then I grind it up into little pieces. No. Life and the universe are far superior and larger than any single person. And no one gives a fuck about your grinding. They can't handle my grinding. Yes, Everyone can handle your grinding. <laughs> they can't handle my J. Cole quotes. <laughs> That's true. No one can handle your J. Cole quotes. This game's going to be thinking about you for this game, Wheezy. I, oh, my God. I thought... It, you know what's crazy, though? What? It like really brings me back to the, the mindset of like when you think everything is the end of the world in mm -hmm. high school. Like everything's dramatic. Everything is so important. You are on this quest and everything you do is like paving your life. And it's all, it's so insignificant when you leave. But at the time, everything always feels like that's it. That's all there is. And mm -hmm. so those tweets are so indicative of that mindset of like, you are, you're so dramatic about the tiniest things and you want to make a big deal about them on a platform where I knew my mom wouldn't see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like, literally like tweeted like my mom, I like complained about my mom on Twitter sometimes. Yeah. Um, but it's just, you know, it's funny. Like it's funny how just like literal tweets will bring you back into that old mindset. I feel like the closest thing that I have to anything like that is like I, we had AIM or AOL instant messenger. Yeah. You know what that is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I use AIM. And so I had like some conversations with people. Like I was dating quote unquote dating some kid from in middle school like from another school that i like literally never met it was like a mutual friend so we like only would chat on aim and he was like oh, my boyfriend you were like online boyfriend yeah boyfriend. but i like never met him and then i like broke up with him over aim or whatever and mm. I, I like saved one of those conversations like i like have actually printed out and saved them in my like shoe box upstairs yeah. but that's the closest that i have but it, you it, like reading those i haven't read them in a very long time but they are just like every Everything super dramatic. Yeah. Like my away messages were always very like sappy and sad and stupid. Emo and yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I mean, all like just look back to all the shit I was quoting. Like it was all such dramatic, like, you know, overcome this and that, you know, mm -hmm. the, you're in fucking high school in Santa Monica. There's nothing, you know, like you're fine. Just shut up. You know, sunny, play like your baseball days a year. No bad weather. <laughs> like you're... <laughs> Oh man, it's so funny though. Cause it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, like you think about it. And, and when I go back to Santa Monica now, everything is so different. It doesn't mm -hmm. even look the same. Even the high school, they've changed so yeah. much. But it's just, it's such a prominent memory for me, those years. Mm. It's wild.
It's wild that I'm, it's wild that I, that's the same account that I have now. Right. You know, like, yeah, I mean, I didn't really like, I didn't have Twitter until I like made it my YouTube name when I was trying to like make them all sort of match each other. Do you know what I mean? Hashtag brand. But like, not even like that. I just sort of did the best that I could. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, um, I'm like glad that Twitter didn't exist when I was like 17 because that would have sucked. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah, a good sport. I, I, yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, I also think that like, as, as cringy as some of those tweets were, I, like you said, like I am kind of proud that I wasn't like a little shitbag kid. Yeah, you're pretty harmless. Yeah, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of shit on there that that indicates that I was, you know, in, in bad shit or even just like talk to people poorly or like, you know, like a lot, you know, like a lot of these 18, 17 year old kids who are famous on the internet out the way they talk to girls the way they talk to people it's just like they're, they're there's a lot of teenagers that if you were to go back and look at them it like with uh, look at their twitter without context the way that we just did yeah. and read some of those tweets like imagine what they're gonna look like in how many years like yeah. run me over with your tractor and fuck me in my ass at billy ray cyrus like yeah. that shit's fucking wild yeah you know what i mean yeah for sure for sure you're pretty harmless yeah <laughs> you you tweeted about Lil Wayne and that you'd be thinking about him. I, That's honestly, really sweet. I was Julian. thinking about That's him. That's really I, sweet. And I think I remember exactly what game that was. You're I think a that was sweet my last kid. Game. You know what? This what? this whole podcast is dedicated to Wheezy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's. The I think right it's only thing the right to thing. To, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you guys. Pretty great guy. <laughs> thank you guys for letting us uh, read over all the tweets, mostly mine. Um, <laughs> Also, thank you for digging all of them up and retweeting them and Hell spreading. Yeah. Girls spread, are just dumb. Spread the cringe, guys. Just spread it all around for all of us to enjoy until you can find more old cringy shit to spread around. Um, and until next week, just just grind, grind hard. <laughs> no! Okay, grind. The grind don't stop. I will fuck. It's end, Monday, Julian. Rise and grind. Julian. <laughs> you have to. You have to go get it. Stop at chalet on your way, and go and go get it. Wait, hold on though. Is that sports chalet even still there? Yes. I thought it closed down. Oh, maybe it did. The one in Santa Monica. Oh, did it close down? I thought so. Okay, well, de- don't, don't go to know. chalet. Go, maybe go to Big Five, but don't no, stop. Don't Big f- No, don't no, that's stop terrible advice. Grinding <laughs> ever <laughs> while while your competition Wait, is sleeping, you be grinding. <laughs> <laughs> so. it's like it's not even sound advice like go get some sleep you're not gonna be able to function you're gonna die an untimely but death it's like that's 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 the thing i was i was doing normal ass shit and you i was were making, out here i was out here grinded i would wake up go to baseball practice do a workout and then all of a sudden like i'm tweeting about how hard i work like that's nothing <laughs> you did like what every other kid i did what every did. little high school baseball player or basketball player ever did but I, I thought I was just like, I thought I was just on. To, I thought I was on to something, guys. I thought I really had the secret formula that everyone wished they had. And I thought Jay Cole and I were soulmates. Do you know this song? Yeah. What is it? You're looking at it. One, here comes the two. I make a buck wash square. Oh, is it is it is it called grinding? This was my anthem, y'all. That sounds like the Fifty Cent song. I'm gonna a play bit. that for you every morning when you wake up. No, I'm gonna be playing it for you because I'm up earlier grinding and harder. <laughs> I'm doing more than you, and you need to know I'm about it. I'm doing more. I'm working so hard. I'm doing more. Uh, and here's the evidence of my hard work: a nice, another little shot in the SM mirror. You can see me in the paper because I'm grinding. <laughs> That's really sweet, though. Like, we, when we did that show and tell or whatever, and we found that paper, and it's just like my name in there and it's highlighted. Like, I didn't have any pictures of me in the paper, like maybe two in high school forever. Well, it's because you balled out in college. And then, like, one in, not even, like, maybe a couple in college, but like, it was really, really, really special to get your name in the paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My mom uh, has this collage of all the times my. Yeah, see, that's like fucking beast, though. Like, I was only in the paper like a couple times my whole life, and it was like a big deal. Yeah, it was, it was definitely really cool. One, I think one reason why um, we had a lot of attention on us was my junior year, Tyler Skaggs was our pitcher. 
when right. he got drafted. So I caught him, and that was really cool. We had a lot of scouts at our games, a lot of press. But then my senior year, we – I don't know what it was, but the SM Mirror was really, really nice to us. It was the Daily Press and the Mirror were really nice to us. They put us in the paper a lot, and my mom kept uh, all of those. We put them all together in this Maybe thing. it was because you guys were grinding so hard that they could see it from so far away. The grind never <laughs> stops. Except if you don't even fucking start it because it's stupid. <laughs> stop. Stop. I'm trying to grind. Stop. Let me let me grind. Move. I can't grind while you're touching me. Julian. Babe, babe. What? I'm grinding. Now, you know what? From now on, when you call me around the house and I'm busy, I'm going to just tell you that I'm busy grinding. I'll only refer to you as Grindmaster Daddy. Guys, when anyone asks what you're doing and you don't want to hang out because you're sitting on the couch. No, nah, I can't. I'm grinding Just today. tell them you're grinding, okay? I'm going to go grinding in, in pub, PUBG. I hate you. Life is black pepper and I'm the grinder. <laughs> we need to end this fucking podcast right now. <laughs> oh. Everybody out here. Do you want to see the evidence of my hard work? Her name is Peach. She grinds too. No. She's a every, grinder. No, Julian. Everybody out here, they use in Tinder, but Julian over here on his grinder. Oh, my God. Oh. You can't just say grinding is yours. Grinding I, is grinders. Grinding grinders. Grinding is mine. I grinded before grinder. <laughs> I grinded before grinder was the thing. <laughs> grinded before grinder. I invented grinding. <laughs> well, is past tense of gr- grind ground? Ground. I ground. <laughs> I, gr- yeah. I ground my way through you high school. You ground so hard. When I got grounded, I grinded. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, as you can see, guys, <laughs> this podcast has completely run its course. Um, we'll see you guys next week uh, for another podcast. Until next week, we're going to be grinding. <laughs> we're going to be working hard. We're going to be killing the competition because we got a game tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tessa Brooks. The competition shook. Oh. She's out here grinding. <laughs> she out here grinding. Hey. England is my city. Um, this was a, a public service announcement to never use the word grind or grinding because this is what will happen to you. You will turn into a Julian. Don't be like me. <laughs>